good. So basically, tell me what you think, how the body works. How do you think the body works? Yeah, the brain is the king, okay? It tells you what to do. Without your brain, you're dead. Good. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much. The seminar is over. <laughs> but that's essentially what it is, okay? Today is all about retraining your brain, not just retraining your brain, but expanding the horizons of what your brain can do, okay? Who's had pain or is in pain or has some kind of pain? Right? Put your hand up. Have you ever had pain? Right? Good. The way that I see pain, um, it's like you're on a country homestead and you've got property all the way around you and you've got a farmhouse in the middle. The farmhouse is your safe place, okay? You can move freely, you can move safely, you don't feel any fear, everything's going well. That's what I call pain-free, okay? And it, when you walk around your yard, that's how far you can move without pain. Now, some people have very small yards, okay? You, you would know it in yourself because you go, yeah, you know what, once I get to here, it doesn't feel like I should go any further. It hurts, it feels weak, it feels unstable, all right? That's a small, that's a fence that's closer in, okay? Some people have very large yards. Sometimes they don't fence the cliff that they can fall off on their property. And so they do all sorts of funny things like pop their shoulder out and they go, oh, that happened again, pop it back in, okay? Sometimes you are meant to fence off certain areas on your property. But ideally what I want you to do is to have all your fences pushed out to the borders of your boundaries, okay? I want you to move as pain-free as possible and explore that range in as many different ways as you want. So you can explore a property on a car, on a bike, on a horse. You can go walk. You can run. You can get one of those quad bike thingies, right? In the same way, you can explore your range of motion through yoga, Pilates, CrossFit, weightlifting, running, swimming, skiing. I want you to explore those ranges in as many different ways as possible. Because neurologically, the brain is the king, okay? And as many different ways that you can do something comfortably will buffer you against hurting yourself. Okay, how many times have you hurt yourself doing something unfamiliar? All right, it happens. You like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't know that step was there because you're carrying something and there's something on the ground or the little lip. Everybody in the town knows that you just pick your foot up over that part of the footpath and a newcomer comes and they trip and they fall over. All right, unfamiliar things increase the risk of injury. But how many times have you bent over or heard somebody bend over to pick up a pencil or a piece of soap or do something you've done all the time. Like yesterday, somebody did a box jump and shinned herself, right? Never failed a box jump before. Sometimes the familiar things increase your risk of injury too because of complacency. Done this before, not a problem. Or you have a habit that increases your risk of injury. That to me is how the body works. If you can work with that kind of model, does, any, does everybody understand that homestead model? If you can work with that kind of model, we're set. Because once you're in pain, the way to move your borders is to move as much pain-free as you can, and your brain will start letting you move the fences further. Okay? Beautiful. So, the way that I like to bulletproof the body is... I'm